Actarians. <laughs> kind of working on that one still, I think. Um, as you can see, I got my patitos here with me today. And it looks like they're leaving. So, looks like it's just, oh, there they go. All right. So, I thought I would uh, kind of show you guys, um, uh, you know, the Honda fire van aspect of it. And also, uh, since I'm a huge uh, Subaru sandbar guy, um, kind of show um, the differences in the vans. Um, so I was gonna go over some stuff on the Honda and kind of compared to the sandbar or the Subaru um, after owning this thing for a few days and cruising it around. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of the Honda for sure, but the engine in the Honda is gonna be a little bit uh, more difficult to work on. Um, I feel like the, the Subaru engine is very, uh, very mechanic friendly, uh, being that the van and the, the sandbar truck both have flaps on the back that fold down so you have access to the rear of the engine. Um, the vans, the Honda vans and trucks, uh, you basically only have access from say the sides by removing the wheels and tires or uh, removing the lid inside the uh, inside the van or in the bed of the truck. Which I mean the sandbars both have lids inside the van and the truck bed but you have a little more access behind the vehicle. This here is Snowflake. Hi Snowflake. Snowflake likes to uh, show his dominance here by uh, beating up on the little uh, the little one here. The little uh, we call them the golden guy. Uh, they like to battle it out. Snowflake and the other black and white one right there. He usually fights back. So hi, Snowflake. Okay, so like like I was saying sandbar uh, motors if you're not familiar with the sandbars um, the sandbar engines are completely in the back um, I run my van naked uh, there's usually a bumper cover here and the bumper folds down and then you have complete access to the engine which is great uh, makes it really easy to work on really really easy to work on um, the Honda however uh, this is a stationary bumper it does not come off unless you unbolt it obviously so you don't really have access to the engine except for going underneath the van or uh, removing the engine lid inside the van that's kind of the tricky part with this guy um, because since this was a, a used as a fire vehicle hauling around hoses and fire extinguishers and whatnot there is this rack here and this rack is really cool I'm definitely gonna keep it in here um, because it slides in and out on rollers and it is what's up uh, it is very very sturdy I mean it's heavy this rolls out so obviously this probably held fire extinguishers here's a cool little fire badge I don't know if you can see that very well but that also kind of makes it a little difficult because now I only have access to working on the engine going in through the center of the van. I can't obviously work on it from the back because I uh, can't really get at it when this is open and then, I mean, slid out and then when it's slid in, uh, it covers the engine. That's kind of the funky part working on the engine. Um, there's just the lid inside there. I got to go in through the sides. And obviously the sandbar, there's a lid on top and direct access from the back. Um, so anyways, so that between the van, sandbar and the suit, uh, Honda, engine wise, a little tricky, but I mean, you learn to, you learn to work with it, obviously. Um, so that's, that's the, the cool little um, thing you got on the fire van this guy okay so another thing that's funky on the Honda Actis or I shouldn't say funky I'm just I'm not used to it 
is the dipstick for the oil. So uh, this one actually, not being a Honda Acti guy, uh, this one took a little bit of uh, time to figure out where the, the um, dipstick was for the oil on the van. Uh, I'm sure the truck is the same way as well. Um, the van on the sandbar is easy. You can see it right next to the valve cover from the back of the motor. Take that thing out, check the oil. But on the, the, the vans, or the Hondas, I'm sorry, uh, the dipstick for the oil <laughs> is on the passenger side um, just right of your leaf springs there's a little tiny uh, looks like a flat it's like a flat little uh, piece of plastic whatever and you you know loosen that and pull the dipstick out and that's how you check your oil on the Honda Actis um, so that was that was a bit of a surprise um, locating and finding that and you know, learning that that's where the dipstick is. Super funky. Um, the sandbar vans and the active vans are different with locations of uh, certain things now. So, like I said, going through this thing and cleaning things up, um, I'm noticing everything. Uh, on the side here, you have this little compartment and this cover comes off and you actually have access to your uh, coolant uh, reservoir. So that's where you uh, check your coolant reservoir. And then you have your squirters. I mean, your uh, you have your juice or your um, windshield wiper sprays. This one actually controls, this is actually a reservoir tank for the front and the back. Of the van so it's got two separate motors on there and so you only got to fill up one tank which is nice you don't have to go searching around for the other tank so we'll put the cover back on and <clears throat> so what's cool about the vans is these back seats I mean most of the vans the back seats fold down anyways um, but like I said these seats I'm pretty sure I uh, never even saw Never saw a butt, one butt cheek. Cause they are brand new. Let's get close up. Look at this seat. No indents, no indents. So I'm pretty sure no, nobody's even, no one's even farted in these seats yet. So I might have to, I might have to change that. But this carpet? You can't tell me that someone's touched this with their feet. I mean, look at this. And I'm pretty sure it's like that because the seat was always folded down. And then it had that divider so you couldn't lift these things up at all. And they were covering <laughs> these original tags showing you how to use the windows and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this carpet, incredible. Just, I mean, it looks brand new. looks brand new. And then the tool bag... That thing that was in there so uh yeah that's 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 insane but um let's let's go over the rear heaters so the um honda vans have a rear heater um and the sandbars also the diaz the sandbar vans have rear heaters as well uh, the rear heater on the Honda is um, back here while the sandbar heater is right here. So the sandbar doesn't actually have like this big uh, hump, if you will, right there. It doesn't, the sandbar hump starts kind of towards the back of that plate. Um, so it's, it's way more uh, open. Um, but yeah, so that's where your, your rear heater is on the, on the vans and these and so these actually cannot um with that cabinet these can't actually um uh click so they just doesn't fit but i mean they have a armrest which i don't think has ever been folded down so 
just kind of keep that keep that up but i'd rather just keep these down anyways keeps them clean keeps that carpet down there clean and you just kind of and then push the uh seat back down and there you go so just folded flat so this actually has uh if you lift this this uh lid off this has the um heater motor in here and it has like a clear hose in there and kind of tells you how to like bleed bleed the heater bleed air out of the heater system because it's obviously running off your coolant so i don't i i'm not gonna mess with that and then under this guy um this cover in the van that's where your battery is so where the battery is on the sandbar is up underneath the passenger seat and then on the vans on the hondas it's right underneath uh that cover and just like the the sandbars oh man the clouds are starting to roll in um just like the sandbars um these have the the child safety uh where you roll down the window it only goes about halfway and then you pull pull this and then you can actually roll it all the way down um just like the sandbar vans it has a little knob about right there and you turn it and then you can roll the window all the way down so um that's kind of the same as far as that safety deal goes um i do need to do some uh stain removal on the headliner obviously it got hit with some dirty stuff i haven't got up that far yet i was just cleaning all the carpet and panels and the dash but i mean look at this dash i mean it's this thing is just insane okay so that's about the same with the, as far as the back goes with the sandbar just the little locations are slightly different on the battery so the honda activans actually have the speakers in the doors well speaker it's a uh, just like the sandbars there's only one speaker on the passenger side and then i think the driver's side was like an option so same with this there's only one speaker just on the passenger side the driver's side does not have a speaker so i will run a speaker at a later time um and you got your little uh thingy for your flare your led flare okay so let's go over here Hi, patitos. The driver's side now. Um, if you open up in the back on here, um, on the vans, here's your jack storage um, behind this compartment here. And um, so there's that. And then to open up your gas tank, um, there's a switch right here that will pop that open this actually did not work when i brought it home uh, there's that little button right here um what happened was is the spring somehow skipped around this guy so then it was just kind of stuck inside so i removed this whole uh release mechanism uh, from inside here, which was a matter of taking off the seat belt uh, Where it all winds up took it out so then I had access to get down into here and this kind of just Turns and then slides out and then inside I could get to the spring and then I clipped it over this guy and then now Now it's working so that's cool. So there's your gas, your gas cap. Um, release right here. Um, now this is an automatic, so obviously it's a little bit different, but it's a three speed auto. Oh, and here's another thing. If you need to show like, so when you import a vehicle, um, and you have to show the VIN matching 
your tag. So there's the tag right there on the little uh, kick panel, whatever, on the side there. Um, some guys want to see, to make sure that it matches the frame or whatever. Um, underneath, the, there's a flap right there under the driver's seat. There's your other uh, VIN showing that, hey, that matches the um, same VIN that is on that little placard over there. So that's where that's located. Um, so this is an automatic. It's a three-speed automatic. Um, and if you just want to drive in second, it kind of shows you the shift point there at 70 kilometers an hour. Um, what's cool about this is these come with tachometers and it's not fancy or anything. Um, the sandbar vans do not come with tachometers unless it was, um, I'm pretty sure if it was supercharged, then it came with the tack, I think. Um, but for the most part, they do not come with the tachometer. So that's kind of cool. The Honda comes with a tack and check this out. You have tilt. So that's kind of a cool little feature, um, in the Honda Actis is the tilt. Um, the sandbars are stationary wheels. You can't, obviously, there's no tilt, so you can't um, raise and lower the steering wheel. So that's kind of that's kind of neat. Um, here was a switch. If you translate it, it says patrol, patrol light. So I'm guessing that was some kind of uh, light bar, siren light, whatever they had up there. So that that's still mounted on the dash, which is kind of cool. Um, let's see. There's looks like the original sticker from Honda when it probably was new. Probably tells, you know, the sticker that you get on a new car. Uh, just has like info on it. So that's that that's still attached there, which is neat. I'll leave that alone. Um, it does not have air conditioning, but that's where your button would be for AC. And there's your rear heater. Um, you just hit that and that rear heater works up. <clears throat> let's see um yeah i think i mean i think that's pretty much that's pretty much it i mean the nicer version vans this was uh there's a clock in there so that's kind of cool if you can get that that clock piece i have not seen the problem is, is this is a tan interior and I've only seen these dash clocks as gray. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for um, a tan one. But I mean, all of these are super smooth. They don't hang up at all, which all my sandbars are kind of sticky. So that's fun trying to undo those. Um, Yeah, so let's see. Let's do some fish eye. So there's that rack in the back. Slide that sucker out. Your glove box, obviously. This glove box is about as useless as the sandbar glove box, so not much different. But you do have this little pocket here, which is kind of nice. Um, and, uh, the brake, uh, fluid reservoir is kind of the same spot as the sandbar. It's right here to the right of everything on the steering wheel and the dash. Here's like the Honda service sticker saying they did the oil on it and all that stuff, which is just crazy. Um... I mean, it's funny, the accelerator pedal is about the same as all the K-Trex are just mounted to the side of the frame um, body, which is crazy. Um, but I do like the uh, the headrests. I, I like the headrests in the Acti way better than the uh, sandbars. I think the sandbars look kind of goofy with that plastic there. Um, but... As far as look goes, I think these look look way cooler. And what's also kind of fun is the uh, reverse. I <laughs> I don't know if they all do this, but they ding, 
which is kind of cool. So, that's fun. I did forget to mention, this is kind of cool. So the sandbars have this as well. Um, there are vents on the headlights. So if you open up this vent here, this is gonna allow air to uh, blow in from the front of the van underneath the headlight. Sunshine. Um, so yeah, on the driver's side, if you see this guy, that's a little uh, air vent. That's air blow through and uh, cool off your uh, genitalia or whatever. So yeah, I forgot to point that out, but that is that. And the patitos here. Sunshine? Sunshine will try and eat this thing if I don't stop her. Hi, Sunshine. I get camera shy. But stickers are a little worn out. We'll uh we'll do some sticker replacing. Emblem's still good. Those fun little stickers I tell you, I think they translate it as like man up or something. <laughs> little pep talk stickers for the firefighters, I'm guessing. Um yeah, but look down that body. No dents. And that was one thing we noticed going through the auction. They usually take pictures from the side of the vans um, or the vehicles to kind of show you, you know, dents or anything that they may have. Um, looks kind of like there might be a little, kind of a little small squished in part right there, but nothing crazy. Uh, this, yeah, and this side too is pretty dang straight just 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 in insane for a 31 year old van <clears throat> what do you guys think patitos yep all right i guess silence is better than nothing but yeah we'll put some uh we'll do some wheels at some point lower it probably yeah super super stoked i think that's kind of uh that's kind of it i mean not very not too exciting on the fire side other than the rack and there is a there's a big old uh actually let's show that real quick there's a big old crowbar like a pry bar that's still in here that i don't think ever even got maybe got used a couple times but this guy right here, this thing's big and massive. It's stuck in there and I think weighs like 20 pounds. It's crazy. Um, but that's in there still. Um, and yeah, like I was saying, the fire badges or whatever, those are really cool. Actually, probably, probably went like this maybe. I don't know. That's neat. I wish it had that symbol on the front like they usually do. It replaces the uh, manufacturer's badge and they put that little symbol on it. But yeah. Oh, well. But I, I'm i happy with the, the way the Honda is. Um, I know there's pros and cons to them all. Um, but if I had to make a pick between the Honda Acti and the Subaru, I don't think I would have a preference. Um, I think I would be happy with both, honestly. Um, as a mechanic side, um, since I do enjoy working on these a lot, um, I am going to have to say that the Subaru is a lot easier, I feel like a lot easier to work on. Way more access to the engine, um, modifying it is way easier. I mean, the exhaust is right there, doing the exhaust is super easy, swapping out headers is super easy. Um, Lowering it is super easy. There's no leaf springs. It's all independent suspension. Um, so, I mean, like I said, there's pros and cons of both. I think they're both sick looking. I think they're both very fun to drive. I think 
The sandbar, however, is a little more stable. I feel like it's a little more stable um, than, say, um, the Honda. Um, but then again, these do have the stock uh, little pizza cutter um, tires on it, and all my other sandbars have um, a wider, more uh, car, bigger car tires on it. So I'm not sure. That might change when I put bigger tires on this one. But I think if you had if you had the ability to have both, um, I think having both is nice as well. I think they're both great. Um, yeah, but I mean the sandbar, again, super easy to work on. A lot easier to work on, I feel like, in a lot of different aspects. Um, but yeah, I I mean I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's a lot more stuff to it to point it out, but um, like I said, I'm still finding things and learning things out about this thing as we go, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys around the, the new addition to the K family, and we're super stoked that Gimli is finally here, and we can start doing, uh, start doing work and fun stuff on it and show you guys and hopefully do some fun little mods to this thing over time. And yeah, cool. Uh, hopefully that was helpful as far as sandbars and Honda Acties go. And um, yeah, if you got any questions or whatever, just hit me up and I'll be glad to answer them. Cool. Take it easy, guys.